Now, a random question for you. Do you like slugs? Not my favourite, I have to admit. But they're actually fascinating little blighters, and scientists at Harper Adams University in Shropshire are attempting to discover more about their behaviour. They can savage gardens, and if they're left unchecked, they'd cause an estimated £100 million of the damage to crops every year. Well, now researchers have implanted trackers into slugs to reveal their movements in previously unseen detail. Here's our rural affairs correspondent, David Gregory Kumar. In a field near Newport in Shropshire, we're releasing a very special slug. It's been fitted with a tiny tracking device. What we need to know is not only what's happening on the surface of the field, but what's happening under the surface, in the top 10 to 15 centimetres, where we know a lot of the population is and that has been the Achilles heel of slug research for many a year. This is the tiny tracker implanted under the skin of the slugs. You might just be able to see it in this one. Now these were implanted a month ago and they seem unaffected by the operation and that's important to the researchers at Harper Adams University. What we're very concerned about is that they, we shouldn't have interfered with their survival or biology, their movement and feeding behaviour. Uh, slugs are, are very large populations of uh, many thousands within a, within a field environment, uh, so we're certainly looking to tag uh, several hundred slugs and simultaneously monitor where they are at any one time within, within the crop environment. So time to see if tracking works, at least in the controlled environment of the laboratory. Nope. Untagged. Different number, this one's tagged. Untagged, and this one is another one we could track down in the field, in theory. Should we go and put that to the test? In the field, they use a larger detector to cover a larger area. Slugs are more active at night, yeah. so we'll be doing the work at night and we'll be out in the field and have a number of tagged slugs which we release and then we'll go back um, sort of fairly continuously to every 20 minutes, half an hour to each slug um, throughout the night. The researchers hope that slugs actually live in patches in a field and that would make more focused slug control, which would be cheaper and greener, a real possibility for farmers. And yes, we did find our slug, or at least his signal, but otherwise he'd vanished. That was my favourite slug. <laughs> Are you sure?